Hello, thanks for joining me. Well, anybody that owns a mill is probably run into some limitations. Uh, there's various different ways to get around them. Uh, but one limitation that I've found on my mill is uh, the vise is 5 inch, and a lot of mills are just 6 or 8 inch. Uh, but I've got a piece of steel here, or actually aluminum. This is 8 inches wide, and I've got a 5 inch vise. There is no way possible I can clamp that in there and mill that edge. So, I've come up with a cure for that. Right here is a clamp fixture. Right angle clamp fixture. That's what I'm calling it anyway. That square bar right there clamps in your vise. Like that. It's got a straight edge right here. That goes under there. Let it hang over on the back side a little bit. Clamp it down with these hex head bolts or socket head bolts. And then mill the edge. Pretty simple, really. But that's what we're going to build today. Yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Well, I've got this not so ideal piece of steel here. Uh, it was given to me, so I guess I can't complain. Uh, I'm going to attach this to the bottom right about there. And this is going to be my clamping bar. And it'll go right there. I'll trim that the ends off. I'll use these existing holes on this. Uh, so these will be clearance holes and threaded into this. And these will be countersunk uh, flush screws. So I'll have to drill those uh, clearance for five sixteenths and then thread into that. Anyway, I'm going to get started drilling. Okay, I got this one by one bar clamped to the bottom right here. And I scribed a line on the top of the center and I eyeballed down through there to find the center of these holes. It's not super critical, I just need to transfer holes pretty close to center. There's three holes transferred. I'm going to drill these outside holes after I get it bolted together. That way everything will line up. You ever wonder why they don't make a 
tap holder with a center on it. A uh, regular tap handle has a center on it, but you don't have much leverage with that. It's kind of a recess here I can use. Some taps have a center in there, but most are going to work out too good. Tell you what. Yeah, much better. Watch for a future video. I'm going to fix that problem. Don't know how yet. But I got a few ideas. Okay, now need to drill 5 16 holes through both those. Probably drill a clearance in the top. Haven't decided yet. I could thread bo into both pieces if I never take it apart. Uh, be easier tapping if I drilled a clearance in there. But that's what I'm going to do next. Got my stop set for a little less than a half inch that'll give me a clearance hole through this and then I'll thread the bottom. These two bolt holes on the end will be for my clamp bar on top, and it didn't need to be countersink, countersunk, whatever. But I got to thinking about it. When I get all this in the mill, I'm going to surface, mill the surface of this, and if there's anything not pulling together right there, uh, it'll it'll be uneven. And seeing as how when I got clamp work clamped in there, if there's any opening there, it'll bring it together. Uh, I want it flat. I'm going to put a little bead of weld right there on each end. Uh, that'll stop any possibility of these bolts slipping. Okay, here we go.
Well, there it is. Kind of got a mess going here. Basically done. I got to trim that off right there. Uh, I milled quite a bit off of that. Uh, at least with my vise in that position, I couldn't quite get back all the way. I, I had to mill about a half an inch off it. Uh, let me put that clamp on there. See if the holes line up where I put it. Well, there it is. Uh, I'm going to attach a straight edge right here. Bolt it on, maybe tack weld it. turned the workpiece around, put some shims in the vise and clamped it to the other side and then took a roughing mill, quarter inch roughing mill and, and uh, cut the end off in my mill. Worked pretty good. Uh, about four passes. Cut it right off. Okay, I'm going to mill a slot right here for my side guide to bolt down into. Uh, I want to clamp the maximum width, is, which is like, it's 12 and an eighth inches between those bolts. So I want to line up that side guide just a little bit, like a 32nd, to clear that bolt. So, the mill will mill the slot straight, hopefully. Uh, but I want a reference to where to mill my slot. Alright, I had a little brain problem there. I forgot I had to turn it around because I didn't have enough travel on the mill, so I had to turn the piece around again. Uh, this should work good. Got everything locked down. Needs to be absolutely square. All my jaws were real clean. Pretty important that that's square. Give it a shot. Make sure I've got my line. Looks good. And my mill, this mill is a little bit undersized. I believe it's been resharpened. So I'm going to have to take a couple of passes. Very carefully, I might add. That might be it. I believe that's perfect. Good deal. Yeah, I got some shavings down in these threaded holes. I was just cleaning them out. Need to cut a piece to fit in there.
Well, here it is. I've got my uh, side guide mounted there. There's the clamp mechanism right there. One by one piece of steel there. And then we're ready to, ready to test it. Just clamp this piece in your vise. I uh, made it 12 inches wide. Uh, that's probably pushing things a little bit for stability. Uh, I'm going to build an a 8 inch piece so I'm going to kind of offset it like that. Hopefully this works alright. Here's a piece of 8 inch aluminum. It's got a messed up end on it. Yeah, let's make some chips. Good. Of course, this is aluminum. The metal is pretty easy, but steel works just as well. Pretty good finish on that. Let's have a drum roll on this. Perfect. Perfect. Of course, now I made this uh, fixture with the vise uh, square on my metal table. So, it, I didn't I didn't expect it to be anything but dead square, but it's still nice to know that it worked well. Anyway, that'll do it for today. Thanks for joining me, and uh, be sure and subscribe.